Before the explanation starts, I just want to point out something. If you want to create your door, like it literally has zero ticks of cooldown in the opening. Um, although this door has almost nothing, but it has actually one game tick. To change this, make sure to close your door. Change this redstone block with a log. Change this repair with a leaf. Place a comparator over here with a chest. Remember to have or a chest or a hopper. I personally like chest because um, it is not expensive and it doesn't create lag. And it needs to be non-solid because that signal still needs to go through. And just place an item inside here. And there it is. This is just going to be uh, making that block right there as our toggle right there extend downwards as soon as this block final retraction. So yeah, let's get into the explanation. Hello, Super Shooter. Welcome back to our channel. And in this video, I'm going to be explaining literally how this piston door works. So I I don't actually um, intended to do this, but I feel like I have to do this because um, I'm pretty sure like you guys want to understand more about zero ticks and thing because yeah, it did take me about three months to actually understand this. And this is actually my first build using like the major of the zero ticks, and we have a long line to go of explanation. And so let's start with the first part. So the first part, I'm just going to show you everything, every piston movement in the sides and the top and the bottom. You can see the opening is just simple, like that. And I'm just going to the side and let me show you the closing, how it looks. Like that, and this just pushes in, and that extends, it's really that simple. And the top obviously just this extends instantly and then one tick later that extends and then on the bottom closing we just open this thing real quick it is kind of slow and i don't actually understand because i just literally just spam pulses into here and everything just suddenly works so like there i'm going to be explaining about the time frames later on so i'm going to explain like how we can achieve the 1.05 seconds um, opening with the sides first let me just literally slow the aim down. So, as soon as we unflick that lever, that piston will start retracting right there. That's already retracting. This dust will also update this slider right here, and that will instantly, instantly push this column up, this slider up. And then later, um, one tick later, we will um, actually we power this one tick later, but this piston takes one tick to extend, so it will retract at two. You can see, let me just speed this up a little bit. At 2, this retracts, and this also pushes down with 2 block event delays. So this can actually schedule first, and then this would retract. And I will be explaining how this works after this. This will retract at the same time. And then next, um, in this side, it's actually 1.5, um, 1 game tick later, this will be pushing and this side is already pushing and it's going to be one game tick faster than this side and i'll be explaining that again later why and this will just quickly um, extend with that three tick pulse and then at six we will just zero tick that and surprisingly every retraction synchronizes even though that bottom piston is not zero ticked but everything just works fine and then finally we just power this again and then everything just retracts as normal like that and on the bottom I'm, um, first I'm going to do I'm going to show the top again this piston right here would immediately extend because it is being like it is being butt powered from this piston and uh, from this block so this piston retracting would just update that to extend instantly and then of course we are getting um, one game to um, 1.5 redstone tick pulse from this observer I don't actually understand how to create 1.5 redstone ticks, but yeah, it just functions. So, unfortunately, um, but like this, this will instantly retract again because that pulse turns off. And this piston right here, because it is being butt powered, it won't actually retract when this turns off because you can see right here, this is actually already turning off. You can see right there, it has a delay. But because this piston is bodied, it won't actually retract when this turns off, but it will instead retract when this finishes retracting. So that will retract as soon as possible. And then so, you can see that is one game tick already there, and then one game tick later, this will all position back there, and then just zero tick from that, zero tick generator right there. It's actually a little bit, okay. 
let me go through and then at the same time that piston on the top already retracts this thing because it's only being locked by the repeater and then finally we just zero tick this with using this again you can see right here and this is what I'm talking about as soon as this blocks right here this already extends downwards and this will already be here when this stops extending like that so this now door literally has zero tick of cooldown and on the bottom this is where where everything just gets interesting I guess let me just close it again because the, the bottom closing is totally garbage I can say um, so this will as soon as possible retract because of this redirection but you can see that it's not powering that but because it is being budded it will retract when it receives a block update from even though it's from the piston head it will actually still do that and then again at two redstone ticks this will retract and this will also retract you can see right there but because here we have two block of interlace again we can actually chain a zero tick pulse so as soon as this retract this piston right there will also be retracting right there so it will also retract and at the same oops I accidentally pressed the wrong key let me just redo that again like this at the same tick this will already retract back and then this will retract back and then this actually waits one game tick so actually we can push this up and retract this piston with one redstone tick pulse and it actually synchronizes and then just again zero tick this down from there and then zero tick again from over here so I believe that's every every piston movements um, this, uh, what is it explained um, the sequence actually and then now let's get into the a bit technical side so here that piston will take one tick to extend but the 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 reality is this block will be arriving here or will arrive here or will be stop moving or will be stationary 1.5 redstone ticks after this piston is powered so we need to you need to remember that and right there this block will arrive down back here 1.5 redstone ticks after the piston is depowered although you might know that the uh, a piston will take instantly time instant time to retract but the block will take 1.5 redstone ticks to arrive up there and will arrive back down here after three game ticks or 1.5 redstone ticks the piston is powered or depowered that is the first thing that you need to understand and then next up this thing right there and this the observer will take two redstone ticks after the piston is powered or after it is being moved so right here that observer will turn on two ticks after this piston is powered the same as this thing even though this piston is powered it's extending it doesn't actually matter because the observer will always just do that as soon as this piston is powered that will already be updating so two ticks after this piston is powered that will power and then same as the retraction like that and this thing right here um, this will be same that will arrive there um, instantly no it's actually not instant it will actually arrive one tick later but the, turn, the the observer will turn on two redstone ticks after the piston is spat is uh, extending again and actually when and when it retracts back down it actually takes one redstone tick because the piston will take one redstone tick to extend and then retract so as soon as this piston um, extends oh, so let me just so like here this will take one tick and then two tick to go down um, not, not two tick to go down but two tick for this observed update so it means that three ticks um, after the piston is one tick but we don't actually use this feature there but yeah it's just a shot my side note and right here if we zero tick a piston that block will arrive there instantly but it will take three game ticks or 1.5 redstone ticks for this observer or block to get down here but it will take the same it will take two ticks for this observer to update up here and down here so you can see right here as soon as i do this they will arrive there instantly and i will update still two ticks after the piston is powered and same as this side but the piston will retract will take 1.5 redstone ticks to retract back down so that's just basic piston movements that you need to understand so next up i'm going to explain how we get we achieved that 1.5 redstone oh no not not 1.5 1.05 seconds opening it all starts with this piston retracting it will instantly update this piston to spat out its block that means that this piston will retract again and the block will arrive here 0.15 seconds later 
and add to add to redstone text this will pull and this will pull back here again as I already um, showed before and then this will arrive here after one tick so it will arrive at 3 and then at um, and then at 3.5 in this side 3 at, at that side because you can see this piston is extending that means it will update to this one game tick later because piston tick 1 tick to extend again that means this block will arrive here at 0 0.45 seconds okay let me just speed things up 0 0.45 here and then this um, 3 tick repair just extends this at the perfect time as soon as this gets here you can see like this so that means that this piston, piston will arrive here at 0 0.6 seconds you can see right here and because we are using a 0 tick slider again a piston when it's retracted using a 0 tick it will take 3 game ticks so this piston will pull that block and arrive here at 0 0.75 seconds and then this will push down at 0 0.75 seconds and this will retract again and the piston retracting takes 3 game ticks so this will piston will arrive here at 0 0.9 and then again we zero tick this and again three game ticks later this will arrive here and that means it's 1.05 seconds i hope that i hope that makes sense i i think um and then the top now uh yeah hopefully that makes sense because i uh yeah i don't i don't care so of course this closing is just still fine and then again that's this piston will extend that means it will take 0 0.15 seconds until over here and this piston will take 0 0.15 again to extend so that means it will piston will arrive here this block 0 0.3 retracts 0 0.45 and then at the same tick this will retract um, and then one piston movement later 0 0.6 this will arrive here and at 0 0.6 this zero ticks but also this piston up here will retract will retract this piston up you can see right here here that means that this two piston movements happen at the same tick and this will all retract and have and arrive at 0 0.75 sync with the sides 0 0.75 and then you just zero tick this again at 0 0.5 so literally just 0 0.9 and then 1.05 right there great and then now the bottom the final thing like this this piston will retract at 0 0.3 because that extends 0 0.3 it will arrive here you can see right there it's kind of a bit laggy but I don't care 0 0.3 here and then this piston will retract to 1k one redstone tick later and this block will also retract back down and this will arrive here at uh, 0 0.45 yes 0 0.45 and then this piston will just retract it um, one game tick later and this piston is oh my god i pressed the wrong key again sorry okay let's not make the same mistake again again 0 0.3 here let's speed this up and then again at zero at one two, at two redstone ticks we'll retract this at that right there and then this we power this at 3.5 that means it will take one tick to extend that means it will pull this block right here at 0 0.45 seconds you can see right here you can this will pull at 0 0.45 like this and then this right here the bottom here we are actually powering this at we powering this zero to generator i can't get inside there this zero to generator down here at 0 0.5 that means that this piston is going to be powered with a one tick pulse and then this piston because it is being one tick it means that it will take one this piston has will take one tick to extend and then it will arrive here at six and will start retracting at 0 0.6 sync at the t with the top and the sides you can see right here 0 0.6 right there so that's how we can definitely get a zero a retraction even though it's been one redstone ticked and then again same as this 0 0.75 down here and then yeah 0 0.9 right there um right there so i believe that's everything for the sequence explained hopefully